Four students have been arrested for kidnapping their classmate. Authorities are alarmed by the ages of the suspects. News 5's Jeff Caparas with the story. This was what the PNP anti-kidnapping group had to deal with in the past days. A college student who was kidnapped by his own classmates. According to Dennis, he was taken last week by a group of armed men along with another classmate of his, Julius Atabay, who was later on released by the group. Members of the kidnapping group later called on Atabay demanding for 30 million pesos in exchange for Dennis's freedom. Police, however, started to doubt Atabay's story when he refused to turn over the phone where kidnappers contacted him. Ayaw niyang i-turn over yung nego phone doon sa pamilya. Gusto niya from kidnappers to him and then siya ang magre-relay sa pamilya which is unusual sa uh, experience natin sa hand negotiation. Negotiations lasted for two days after which Atabay admitted that he was behind the kidnapping. Authorities found the victim, Dennis, in a small room in a barangay in Tondo last Friday. He was kept there for two days without food and water. Pawis daw niya yung iniinom niya. Kung minsan may sumisilip daw yung mga babae. Police have arrested Atabay along with two other students from Colegio de San Juan de Letran and College of St. Benilde. Authorities are also on the lookout for six other accomplices from Letran, Far Eastern University, and Paranaque Flying School. Authorities have also expressed alarm over the incident since the suspects are some of the youngest ones they've caught. Just imagine kung naging successful sila rito. How will this group will become? May mga kaya pero parang trip lang. The suspects, meanwhile, say the kidnapping stint was just for fun. 150 pesos lang daw kasi yung uh, allowance niya, PE teacher lang yung tatay ko, 150 ang binibigay. Ganun. And then gusto niya magkapera. And even yung iba, tinatanong, tinatanong namin. And uh, casually sinasabi nila, gusto ko rin magka-7 digits. Ganun. So yun lang ang motivation nila. So more on parang kwan lang sila eh. Trip. Aside from Dennis, the group admits to targeting one other classmate from Nueva Ecija. For now, the suspects will be facing kidnap for ransom charges. For News 5, Jeff Caparas, We Are One News.